Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Sunday booster cracking. And as you can see, we've got the wonderful set Legacy Lost. I am super excited that I found this box. It's kind of a rare set, especially to get in the hard shell. Uh, if you saw my vlogs, I went into how I found it at a pretty good price. And uh, a lot of the times you can only find the reprint soft boxes for this set. So I'm really really looking forward to opening this thing there are some sweet cards in here some opportunities for uber rares potentially um so yeah i'm i'm looking forward to this and uh seeing what we can get so let's jump into this thing we're doing half today and then we'll do a part two next week with the other half of this epic legacy lost box all right there we go i love these hard shell boxes they're so nice they're so nice i'm so glad I found one in a nice hard shell. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Legacy lost. Oh, so great. All right, let's put that up over here. There we go. We got a nice little pamphlet, which I do really enjoy these. I wish they'd include these more often. They're so cool, and it gives you this nice checklist. We got our beautiful little insert here. Very nice looking. I really want to get this card. That is the card that I would love to aim for here on this one. Let's put this up here. Okay, first one. Let's see what we can find. We're starting with a nice foil common right on the front. Oop, the card on the back is going away. Sacred, what is that? Kumani? Kumani? I don't know what that is. Yashumora, town that never was. Sacred Beast, Petal Assistant, Rachel Smile, Magic Stone. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Was that our rare? That was our rare. So Magic Stone of Life Form is our rare. And then we've got a Runic Commander Demon as our super rare, not a foil. Behind it though, we've got a nice rare Remains of Atresia. Very cool, look at that nice foiling, very cool. I am going into this set relatively blind, so I am looking forward to seeing the new cards like this one. This is a really cool card, nice foil common. Like her character, Priest of Divine Protection, very cool. I uh, don't know what's going to be worth what, I'm just going to have to wing it and see. I know most of the value, because this is an older set, will be in like the nice foil, foil full arts and things like that. So, oh, Gian de Dark, the Pious Flame, really cool version of Gian, Gia, 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 Joanne, I don't know. How do you, how do you guys say that? I don't know. I always get like, the. it's such a weird one, all right? It's such a weird name to spell, Joanne de Arc but it's spelled Jean. Is it just Jean D'Arc? I don't know. Stupid French name, I guess. All right, Steam Explosion is our nice, really cool looking full art rare. Very cool. Man, that really goes border to border. They need to bring that back. I'm telling you, they need to bring it back. All right, next one. Let's get in here, and we've got a Rune of Soul. Pretty sweet. All right. Some reprint cards from what I'm seeing. The Seven Dwarves and Wind of Darkness. Our rare is Time Guide Admiral Alfred. Weird looking one. And then Darkness. And then, oh, look at that. We've got her. A nice foil of Joanne D'Arc. I'm just going to call her Joanne. That's probably right, right? Pious Flame. Rare. Not a full art. Want to get the full art of her, but very nice nonetheless. Started off here with a cool looking weird looking doggo. I can't tell if I like that artwork or not. Beast of the Holy Light. Interesting. Blessed Knight. Cool looking card. Magic Rebound. Oh, is she like naked in there? Oh, showing a little butt crack. All right. Uncommon Rare is the Manticore. Interesting. Fire Magic Stone. And behind it, holy frick. That is awesome. Wow. Lumia's Purification. Full Art. Rare. That is fantastic. Look at that artwork. Wow, I've never I have not seen this one. I have not seen this one. This is sweet. Whoa, that is cool. Destroy target rested non-magic stone card. Ooh, destroy their stones. Go after their mana. Really sweet. Alright, so that's a good hit, I feel like. Uh we got Sacred Beast of Wind. Fine by me. As long as you're not in the rare slot. Little eagles can stay in the common slot where they belong. We got Yashami, first daughter of the Mikage, as our rare. Really cool artwork on her as well. Fire Magic Stone. Oh my gosh, yes! Yes! We got Lumia, Saint of the Crimson Lotus, 
Oh, I wanted this one. Yes, our first J Ruler. Oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful card. Uh, now we just need to get an Uber Rare because it is one of the most expensive Uber Rares you can find. But there she is, Lumia, the Faded Rebirth. That side is fantastic. You you know, typically with the J Rulers, their, their uh, starter side, their ruler side, is never really as impressive as the flip side, but this one is phenomenal. It's rare that you get a ruler that, in my opinion, in my artistic opinion, has uh, a, like a good artistic match from ruler to J ruler. But look at that, phenomenal, just phenomenal. Oh my gosh, we always hit them in the first part. It's so great. Cards are a little warped. They're a little warped. I shouldn't say bent, but they're just like, you know, they're, they're warping a little bit from time. Holy Rich Surgeons as our common uh, town, Sacred Beast of Wind, Kimimora. There's our rare to find Beast of Atrashia and Light Magic Stone. And we've got Jack the Climbing Beanstalk as an uncommon foil this time. Oh man, I don't, I feel like they're, I, I don't know. There, there's like so much limited information when it comes to these older sets and Force of Will in general. You really got to know your history and be on forums and stuff. But I feel like there's something in this set with uber rares like your chances if you got the hard shell first print was higher to get an uber rare i know there's stuff like that for like the time spinning witch set there's some like misprints that have better chances and misprints in there so i feel like this might be one of those sets where ratios might be a little bit better to pull good things but we got lumia's purification just the normal version a light magic stone and then a magic stone life form as our rare full arts all right cool into the next let's go all right we got bastiots a little weird looking dog fox thing we got millennia's weapon pretty cool looking conjure time bomb uncommon cayuga's moonbeam butterfly as our rare and then oh faria ruler of defined beast as our j ruler oh my gosh it's another j ruler that's crazy wait a second was that a four? Yeah, it was a four. All right, this one's like not a full art J ruler. So Faria, I don't know if this one has a full art. Defined Beast, but really cool card. I'm glad I got her. Glorious Mass Crusader. Oh, wow. So that dude becomes unmasked to be her. I didn't realize that this was a chick the whole time. <laughs> is it? Is it going to be? Is it the same character? That's what it's implying, I guess, but I had no clue. So Faria. Ruler Divine Beast was actually Glorious Mass Crusader from all those sets where we pulled this card. How interesting. All right, into the next one, we got a nice foil of Millennia's Weapon. Fine by me. Deceptive Dream. And we've got Wing Dragon. Uh, Rachel, Advisor. She's a cool one to get a full art. I would like her in a full art eventually. That is our rare. Magic Stone of Vaporization as our rare as well. Very nice, and behind it, we got, what is that? Tuning, tuning of wind and darkness. Just an uncommon though. All right, next one, let's go. We got a nice griffin, invisible flame, planting bean. Ooh, she's cool, Faria summoning. Nice artwork on that one, a little bit different. Priest of divine protection again, shadow of lapis. Our rare is fate, fated reunion. And then we got remains of Atracia again as well as seven dwarves, the little seven dwarf children. There's only one that actually looks like a dwarf. Just this guy, like right here. Everybody else just looks like just little kids. Oh, it's weird. All right, I ripped the back card. My bad, that sucks. All right, uh, Aletia's Elite. Pretty cool looking artwork on that one as well. Illusionary Protection, Dragon, Rachel Smile. And Lumia's Judgment as our rare. Look at that artwork. I have not seen that artist before. That's some cool one. That's some cool. They have no noses, but it's a unique art style, I guess. Uh, Parisia's Mem Memoria. Parisia's Memoria as our rare. That is a really cool Memoria card. I really like that one. And then behind it, we've got the Monocle as our uncommon foil. Here we go. Back into it, we've got Ancient Manager. Interesting spirits. Oh, we had that spirit last time. How fun. All right, so uh, that looked like cool artwork. And we got a nice elf token. Sometimes these can be valued at stuff if there's a foil version. Shadow of Lapis, uncommon foil. 
Wait, did we miss our rare? We missed our rare. Oops, that was our rare. Time Guide Admiral Alfred was our rare, which we already pulled. I know as soon as I'm going to start this thing, the camera's going to auto shut off at 15 minutes and I'm going to lose like three seconds, so I'm trying to wait. Are you going to screw me over, little GoPro? I think I caught it. Yeah, I think I caught it. Nice. All right, I think it's re-recording now. It stops at 15 minutes, so I'm like have to make sure I'm like in between packs when it starts recording again. Ooh, Crimson Ray. That is really cool artwork. Wow, that one's awesome. All right, Holy Light, Ghost of Atresia. There's our rare Valentina's Reach. Pretty sweet. A nice token, fantasy token. Wow, I would love a, a foil version of this. This looks amazing. That is awesome artwork. And then we've got uh, Conjurer Time Bomb. I wanted to look at the back side of this. Even that side's really cool too, actually. Conjurer Time Bomb as our uncommon foil. All right. Look at that, we, <laughs> nice, we got the foil version of Crimson Ray, that's awesome. Yes, thank you very much, Pax, that is fantastic. All right, Spirit of Light, which we've already got a full art from another set from that one. Faded Reunion again as our rare, and then we got Naralethotep as our freaking super rare, awesome. Naralethotep, the Crimson Radiance, really sweet. I haven't pulled Narlethotep in, uh, what is it, um, Moon Priestess Returns. I need to pull uh, the Narlethotep from that set still, which I'm still digging for. I've got another box here. It's waiting to be opened. Oh, we gotta find them. We gotta pull them naturally. All natural. Fire Magic Stone Foil on the end. Will we find an Uber Rare? I hope so. Let's go. Let's see what we got in here. Bassett's Fascination. Blah, 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 blah. Fisherman. And Lumia's Judgment again. All right. And then we got uh, our Resonator, Magic Stone Researcher. What is his name? Grusta Balestia? Grusta Balestia. I don't want to say, even try anymore. All right. Super rare, though. And a nice foil Darkness Magic Stone. Rock into the next one here. We got a Luciaria Protection. Uh, Crimson Ray again. Beast of Holy Frick. And Monocle. Oh, there's Rachel as our rare. Behind it, we've got, oh yeah, she is sick looking. Oh, I don't know what the back card is, but I want to get her in a full art because she looks awesome. What is it, Moon? Uh, Modart, Lady of Illusions, sick. Really cool artwork on that one. I've said that a lot this episode, and we got a foil wind magic stone. Wow, that's three foil magic stones in a row. That's crazy. Two more packs to go. Let's do this, holy frick. Oh my gosh. Whoa! Another God Pack. Uh, this is my third God Pack. This is what happens when you buy too much Force of Will. Just be warned, you end up getting a lot of God Packs because you're buying so many of the boxes. Holy frick, we just got a freaking Full Art Lady of Illusions on the front. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Merry Christmas to freaking me. This is coming out a week before Christmas and part two will be out on Christmas. Holy frick, how can we top this? We we need to pull an Uber Rare in the next part to top this. Let's see. Oh my gosh, Dimension Dragon, Nidhogg. Ah, oh my gosh. Magic, oh my gosh, we pulled the third. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, look at her. Fest thing, the Fate Spinning Winds. Oh, she is sick. Wow. Cayuga Lunar Researcher as our super rare. Look at the mushroom she's got on there. Is that a hat or a mushroom? Oh, it's her hat full of diamonds. Uh, she's getting chased. Holy, oh yes! I forgot she was in the set. She looks so amazing. Uh, I don't know her name though. Admira, Admira Trash or something. Guide of Light, but oh my gosh, look at that card. The artwork it reminds me a lot of the Shiva card from um, like the Untouchable set out there. Um, uh, Decisive Battle of Valhalla. There's a Shiva card in that set. Might be by the same artist even. Very similar style. Super glittery and cool. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. Naralethotub, full art. Can you ask for anything better than this? This is amazing. Bastia, Goddess of Cats. All right, well, that one's kind of lame. I'll be honest. That one's like super lame. That's a derpy looking Broadway cat's cat right there. Behind it, uh, Runic Command Demon Akiat. And behind that, 
Ah, Charlotte again. Charlotte's in here again? <laughs> She's like in every set, I swear. Charlotte, wielder of the sacred spirit, but a nice full art of her. Wow. Holy frick, a freaking god, that frick me, this is amazing. Wow, freaking last freaking pack. I don't think we can top that god pack, but holy frick, the only thing that could make this box better is if we get a freaking uber rare somehow. So I don't know, maybe there's potential, but I doubt it, but I, you never know. Final Breeze as our rare, and let's see what our final foil is here. Uh, give it to me, baby. What is it? All right, it's a... <laughs> Healing Wind Dragon Uncommon. It's not even a rare. Uh, jumped the gun on that one, but that's okay. I think we got plenty of rares in the last pack. It's time for polls of the day. It's time for polls of the day. I'm putting this one on the end. Oh, you already saw it. Okay, that's fine. Here's our polls of the day. And of course, we've got a lot of just our full arts. I'm just including a few that I think are the most highly valued. You'll see the prices up on screen to see if I'm right or not. But we got the Illusions Girl, Lady of Illusions. Uh, this is like my sleeper hit. This one might be having some good value over others, Spinning Winds. Uh, this girl, Guide of Light, this one actually may be undervalued in my opinion. This one probably didn't, I don't know if this one saw a lot of play. I don't feel like it did. Of course, I don't know much about that time and era of Legacy Lost, but I feel like this one might have been, uh, I'm, I just love the card and I think I'm overvaluing what it actually goes for, but we'll see. Narleth Tep, easy pick right here. This card, any Narleth Tep card gets played in deck, so I'm sure this one did too. And of course we got our freaking J Ruler, Lumia, Saint of the Chrisman, Lotus, holy frick, leave a like, subscribe, stay tuned for part two, smash the comment section, let me know what you guys thought about that freaking god pack. And yeah, price is up on screen for how we're doing so far on the box. Um, I got a good deal on this box. I see this box go for like 160 to like 180 sometimes, and I got mine for like 102. So I got it like 50 bucks cheaper than like the asking price. So we'll follow this up in part two and see how we can do with the rest of this and maybe find ourselves an Uber Rare. Who freaking knows, but oh my gosh. Make sure to support the channel, subscribe. We're trying to hit 1K. And if you enjoy these Force of Wills, we've got a ton more boxes coming up after this one even. So stay tuned for those and we will see you guys in the next one.